Rob, in terms of the backlog, what, what is the reason uh, that this backlog uh, is building up right now? So, yeah, so this has been a debate across industrials for the last year, and we're coming out of post-COVID normalization. During COVID, everything was tight. Nobody could get anything, and backlogs have been record high across industrials, including a cat. And so as you get, you know, some better supply chain availability, some better production, some better predictability, it's long been hoped that this would normalize and you have less risk of double ordering of, you know, panic ordering or whatever, and you just bring it down to normal levels. That might be what's happening, and that would be a very positive development, but certainly this quarter Quarter, investors are inclined to take these signals of any weakening as a sign of a, the peak of the cycle, you know, of a roll down. Mm -hmm. Firstly, loving the toys, nice office, really appreciate that. Rob, good work. Um, second thing is, I, so you listen, you, you, you listen to these guys all the time. You, you're probably quite, a, your, your antenna are probably quite well tuned to kind of what they're really saying. Was the, was the nature of what was said on the call today, was the nature of what was released today commensurate with the kind of the, the shoot first, ask questions later stock reaction we're getting? What's your gut tell you? The two things are, are diametrically opposed, or at least at odds. So I, I think, and not just for CAT, but other industrials we've seen this quarter, management teams are seeing pretty good end demand. They're seeing the infrastructure bill, which will come through in 2024 and 2025. They're seeing you know, some mining demand that's still out there for replacement and eventually for the, um, the, the energy transition. And I think CAT's comments on the call were typical of that. I, I think they don't really guide to next year, but they're suggesting the end markets are healthy, sales to end users are healthy. And so the stock reaction is at odds with that. Now, investors aren't you know, inclined to always believe everything management says, and sometimes management does not itself see turning points. But from what Kat and others are seeing on the ground, I don't believe they're trying to signal this is a turning point. I don't believe that's what the backlog does signal, in fact. So, Rob, you make a great point, and, and Brooke uh, said this earlier in the show, that like you can still have these structural forces in the market, Infrastructure Act, IRA, CHIPS Act, et cetera, nearshoring and, uh, and, and all the like, and then also still have a cyclical cycle Cycle at the same time. So how do you deal with that, like as an analyst and an investor? Well, so if you look at CAT estimates over the next two years, there's essentially no growth. There's essentially no growth in margin, no growth in revenue, and then they have a cash position on the balance sheet that people you know, aren't really using. So they have share buybacks that can basically drive the entire consensus forecast. So if you get volume growth from here, if this isn't peak of cycle, then there's upside to estimates. We're, I don't know, five, six, seven percent ahead for next year and you know, 15, 20 percent ahead for the year after that. And we're just assuming kind of a modest cycle from here. Now you look at cat revenues and you might say, well, this is peak and, and that's not what we believe, but there's a big difference. And I think that this is an opportunity, at least in our view, yep. for investors as we see growth ahead.